Good morning and uh, welcome to morning prayer on Friday the 1st of May can you believe I don't know where this year has gone especially the last few very bizarre strange weeks we may be living through a strange time but our Lord is not a strange Lord and he deserves all the worship and praise we can give to him so let us say morning prayer together and this is the Celtic um, morning prayer this morning. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Would you like to join in with the response? Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. And our declaration of faith. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. And the first of our readings, which is Psalm 139, a truly wonderful psalm, and it will pick you up somewhere to go when you're feeling a bit low. Just two verses. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. The psalm continues to say that God is everywhere and God is always with us. And our Old Testament reading is from the book of Proverbs, a really interesting book. If you've never read it in its entirety, it is one you can just dip in and out of. I do recommend it to you. It's very interesting. But chapter 4, verses 1 and 2 say, Listen, children, to a father's instruction, and be attentive, so that you may gain insight. For I give you good precepts. Do not forsake my teaching. And finally, from the book of James, James's letter to his fellow Jewish Christians. From the first chapter. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let that endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. That's really a reading for today, isn't it? When we're going through trials, when life is just a little bit more difficult than it is normally. Just to have faith is just a remarkable thing. So, the meditation for today from the Northumbria community. What God may hereafter require of you you must not give yourself the least trouble about everything he gives you to do. You must do as well as ever you can. That is the best possible preparation for what he may want you to do next. If people would but do what they have to do, they would always find themselves ready for what came next. So let's just spend a moment or two in prayer, praying for others around us. 
Lord, we ask for your presence with those that we know and love. We ask you to give them comfort. We ask you to remove all their fear. We ask you to enhance their faith that they may put their hope and trust in you. We pray for the leaders of nations, especially the leaders of our nations, that especially at this time they will make righteous decisions for the good of all. And we pray for those who are poorly, in mind, body and spirit. We pray for healing and all for wholeness. And mainly we pray for peace of heart. Through your peace, which passes all understanding. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And the wonderful canticle. Christ as a light illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me. Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me. Lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. And finally the blessing. So may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for sharing that time of prayer with me this morning. And uh, there will be some more coming out at the weekend. There will be a recorded service on Sunday, but we'll also have our live Zoom service as well at 11 o'clock. And more details will be coming out about that um, later on today, Friday. Um, God bless and I will see you soon. <laughs>